Hey everybody, uh, Tyrant here with the first Virtual Fighter Wing. Uh, this is an introduction to using WeatherGen, which is a tool that I wrote to generate random interesting weather for Falcon BMS. Um, I'm going to assume that you know the basics of weather in BMS. Um, that's described pretty well in the manual, so if I say things like inclement weather, poor weather, um, TWX files, you understand uh, that stuff. Um, I've done a basic video introduction to those concepts that's also in this playlist uh, where you found this video. So you can watch that or you can refer to the manual. The manual is quite good. Uh, we're going to assume that you know this stuff. Alright, so the basic idea here is that you have written a TE or you're running a campaign and you want to create some weather that's more interesting than what you get by default. Weather that changes over time, weather that has a bit of variability to it. So imagine that you have some TE and I'll just use this one called Weather Gen Demo. And so you, you've done the work of setting up the mission um, or you've created a campaign. Um, but you want to have in interesting weather. Um, now you can control some things here in the weather uh, tab. Um, in particular, you can control the way the clouds work, but you can't really say, well, there not at least there's not rich ways of saying, well, there's a storm front, it's moving across this way, it's going to dissipate over time. So that's where WeatherGen comes in. So WeatherGen is a web app that I wrote. Um, it is just a web page, so you go to firstfighterwing.com uh, slash WeatherGen, um, and you will get this page. There's nothing to install. It's, it's merely a web page that you interact with. Um, I should point out that this works uh, best in Chrome and, and really only works right now in Chrome and Firefox. Uh, Firefox is a little bit slower, although it works fine. Um, unfortunately, it does not work in Internet Explorer. does not work in uh, Safari uh, for technical reasons that I won't bore you with. But um, you pull this page up, and what you're looking at here is kind of a bunch of controls. We're going to talk about some of them, but not all of these. We'll have additional tutorials for covering the more advanced usage here. And kind of a map on the left here. Um, and you can pick which map you're showing, Israel, Balkans, uh, Korea. Like, you put the Balkans there. And, uh, you know, right now it's overlaid with wind. Um, we can turn that off. So there's a few visibility controls here. The one thing you might want to do is turn the opacity down a little bit. So you can see the map a bit better. It might give you a better sense of what you're looking at. Um, so... Another thing I want to mention is that uh, a lot of things in WeatherGen have help. Um, so anything that has kind of this blue underline, you can click it, and it will give you a description of what's going on there. Hopefully that will be clear to you, um, help you out with what's going on. There's a couple places where um, it's a little blue help circle instead, but that's the same thing. It'll, it'll talk about that feature. So keep that in mind. Um, anything that has a blue underline, you can click on and get help. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna just show the very basic usage. Like you've you've written that TE that we've shown, and you just want to add some weather to it. You don't want to get too much into the fancy um, stuff that you can do with it. Um, so you would probably start by um, loading up your mission file. Um, so I'm gonna go in here and find that uh, weather gen uh, sorry that weather gen demo uh, tack file that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Um, that's off the screen for you, but I opened that up. Uh, really, all this is doing is setting the file name. Um, in the future, we may have features that actually wind up reading that uh, TE or campaign file and um, you know using some of the information there. But for now, we're really just using it to set the name of the file so that when we save the weather-related files, they have the right name. So you don't have to open it. You can just type the name in there. All right, so we've gone ahead and loaded that up. And now we're interested in creating some, um, some weather for this thing. I'm going to make the opacity a little bit... A little bit more opaque so we can see it a little bit better. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and we're going to say, okay, this weather is okay, but maybe I'd like something where there's, you know, more cloud cover over this part of Italy. So I'm going to click random. Oh, okay, that looks pretty good. But, you know, it's not great. Click random, click random. So what we're getting here is different weather patterns um, that you can just click random until you see one that you like. Um, and then what you can do is you can say, well, I want to see how this thing is going to evolve with time so you can step forward through time. So you can see now we're at, you know, day one, 0600, step forward again, day two, 0700. And we can jump to different times. If we want to type in a time here, we could say, let's see what the weather is going to be like on day two. So that's 02 slash, say, uh, you know, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a jump to that time. All right, by then the weather has changed to this. All right, great. So, um, so great, so we're able to pick the weather, we're able to see kind of how it evolves in time, we can go backward and forward. Um, the other thing that we might want to do uh, in general is go down here to the clouds and contrails. Um, so this section here essentially replicates the settings here in Falcon where you go to the cloud tab and you can set up the information about where contrails are, what cumulus clouds look like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's also replicated here in WeatherGen. Um, and the, the big reason for that is because I like to have some variability here, and I find it kind of a pain to come up with interesting values. So you can click this randomize button and go, oh yeah, 
that's kind of interesting, you know, with a stratus base at 8,000 feet. Um, I kind of like that. And so I, what I'll do a lot of times is just before each mission, I'll go in here and hit randomize until I um, get something interesting. One thing I'd watch out for is I kind of not really happy with how the contrails came out. They came out rather too low in the randomized one. So that's the one thing where you might want to go in here and, and bump some of these up to be more um, realistic value. Having contrails down at 11,000 feet is, is I'm told, not um, especially realistic. But um, I have had missions where we had that and people were happily surprised to see something a bit different. Okay, so we've gone ahead and randomized um, the, the weather pattern. We've randomized our cloud settings. Um, the other thing we want to do is want to align the, the time with our mission start time. So here in Falcon, I've got my mission, and it's kind of starting at uh, 0900 on day one. Um, but at the moment, I'm looking at uh, day two, uh, you know, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. So I want to make sure that I kind of line this up by um, setting this to you know, 0900, my same as my mission start time, so I can kind of make sure that looks right. And then if I'm happy with that, what I can say is, okay, now I want to save all this. So let's generate weather. We're going to save weather from 0900 uh, and then however long you want. Maybe you want to save three hours worth, so we'll save it to 1200. And we want to make the weather change every 15 minutes, so we'll just set the step to 15. And that's pretty much it. All we're going to do now is hit Save Package, and WeatherGen is going to crunch away. It's going to create... Um, all the various intermediate steps from 0900 to 1215 minute increments. It's going to create the file that contains the cloud settings, the TWX file, and it's going to create a zip file uh, that we can then uh, save. And let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see it better. Um, which I'm just going to go ahead and save that zip file. You can see it, weathergendemo.zip, right into my uh, data campaign save folder. Go ahead and save that downloads and then if I open that guy I can see that it has everything that we would need in order to have weather. It's got the TWX with the cloud settings, it's got the initial F map, um, it's got the weather maps updates folder with time stamped files so that the weather will change to the appropriate um, you know configuration at the appropriate moment. Um, and you're good to go. Just unzip this into your uh, campaign save directory and uh, you know since it since we get told it the name of the the tac file everything's named correctly and you can just go and, and fly your mission at that point um, the only other thing I want to mention is that we have this one other file here the wgs.eden wgs is for weather gen settings um, and the reasons that's there is let's say that you were happy with the way this thing came out um, and when you want to now you want to like fly the next mission in a series and you want the weather to be consistent. So if I refresh the web page, and let me get this a little bit smaller so we can see the controls on the right here. Um, refresh the web page, everything's gone, right? It's a web page, it doesn't really have any, any memory. Um, but what I can do is I can click load settings and I can go ahead and load in uh, one of those settings files. Uh, if I open that up, it'll go back to uh, my, uh, my settings from the... Uh, uh, from whatever was saved in that file. So in that zip file, you're basically get, getting a file that lets you go back to exactly the settings that you had. Now this is a different one, so that's why the weather looks a little bit different and the map was big. But everything, if we had you know unzipped that file and, and loaded that wgs.edn file up, everything that we had done to create that weather, we would be able to, to get back uh, to that point. Um, that's really it for basic usage. It really is pretty simple. You set your mission file name, you, you find weather that you like, you randomize the clouds if you want to, you set your times, you save the package, unzip, and you're good to go. Go fly. Um, I'll be doing more videos about some of the advanced features. There's interesting things you can do around like controlling the wind direction for carrier landings and refueling, um, overriding the weather in certain areas to make uh, things like uh, ILS recoveries, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But we'll, we'll talk about those later. Uh, if you have questions, um, you can always go to the BMS forums. There's a link right there that you can click on that will take you to the WeatherGen uh, thread in the forums. You can ask questions there or you can find me at uh, firstfighterwing.com. Uh, thanks, and uh, let me know if there's anything uh, that I can do to make the program better.